Yeah, it was insane. I mean, that year was just crazy in general. I think all the things that were happening during the playoffs. So um, I think it was just kind of as expected. Chastain did a video game move, drove it and never lifted. You made the transfer. You made the transfer, man. Why that worked, I don't think I will ever know. Take a look at what he did. Never, ever, ever has there been a move like we just saw. Well, uh, I had um, gotten rear-ended on a restart and uh, wasn't feeling good, so I, I, I was out of the race. I was just on the way home watching the race on my phone, and uh, when I saw it the first time, I'm like, oh damn, like I'm my head is messed up. <laughs> but it was real. Uh, so it was real one, and my head wasn't messed up too, so that was, it, was, it was pretty wild to see. But I remember I looked at my mirror like in the middle of the corner for some reason, and I just saw like this black dot. But it was like just a quick glance in my mirror. And then I looked up in my mirror off of four, and I saw, I mean, smoke, dust, paint, debris. I was like, what the heck was that? I, I, yeah, I didn't know what it was. I mean, props to him, a super brilliant uh, move that he made there. You know, I think a lot of people were, didn't know how to feel about it, but for me personally, I, I think it was just, it was, it, it was a big brain move. So um, yeah, I mean, it won't happen again this year, but um, it was crazy seeing him come off turn four and, uh, you know, be that much faster. It didn't look real to me. It looks fake. Um, it looks like someone just fast forwarded his car and left everyone else, you know, the same. It was just the craziest thing to me. So uh, yeah, I saw glimpses of it in my mirror. Well, I did not see the hey ho melon move by Ross Chastain in real time. Uh, the only real glimpse I had of it was I entered turn three with Denny Hamlin right behind me on my bumper, and I exited turn four with Ross Chastain on my bumper. And I remember when the race was over as we're cooling down the car and, and pulling into the garage area thinking, where did he come from? And then somebody came over the radio and said, oh, you got to see this move that uh, Ross made. and, and I, I just thought maybe he did like a bump and run on Denny Hamlin and that he was behind him. Uh, and then I, I saw the video on the, the way home. I thought, whoa, that was a ballsy move. I, I think I was just maybe barely coming off a of two and I just seen him flying through the middle of the corner. And it looked like he was, you know, going a million miles per hour and thinking, holy hell, what in the hell's going on up there? That is insane. So I think the same reaction as everyone else, like what just happened and it was crazy how fast it looked like he was going, even from you know being in the car. <laughs> uh, it was it was a blur. It was a it was a massive blur. When I was I think I was running, I don't even know where I was running, eighth, ninth, not even sure. And something just whizzed right by me, and I was like, "What is that?" And I, I have seen it where I was at in the corner. I think I was middle of three and four, and I finally seen that it was Ross, and I was like. Wow, that was pretty impressive, pretty smart move. It's like, oh man, a throttle stuck, you know? It, that's what it looked like. It just looked like somebody hung a throttle. And then, you know, you get done with the race and there's all this commotion. But when I saw it on the replay, it, it was the wildest thing I've ever seen. I mean, it was so perfectly executed, but it looked, it didn't look real. It looked like somebody was literally like hitting the fast forward button. It just did not look real. It made me think back to the year prior where I needed a win to get into the playoffs for the championship race at Phoenix, and I was running second to Alex Bowman on a couple of those late race restarts, and I was not enough points ahead, so I needed that win, and I kind of thought about it. I was like, man, what if I, you know, and I was just never, I guess, gutsy enough to, to make the move, but then I saw it be done by Ross to get himself those positions and get him locked, you know, knocked into the, the final round, the championship race at Phoenix, and I'm like, damn it, I <laughs> wish I took that moment, but I didn't, and so he owns it. And, uh, you know, I mean, it was, it was cool for what it was and what it accomplished and what it got him. Um, I think it, you got to put it all out there on the line. He put it all out there on the line and he made something of it. Uh, coming off a of turn uh, two uh, and I, you know, saw Ross get into the wall and I thought he blew a tire, you know, because he, he kind of did it on entry. Uh, and then, you know, something went by really fast, but I didn't put it all together till the race was over. You know, I think for once uh, the video game move worked. Uh, I don't know if it would work every time, but uh, that was wild. I didn't see it. I was ahead of Ross, and you know, again, I, our cars was so good that we just drove through the field. 
and gain the spots I needed to get in the playoffs. And then at that point, I managed my gap to him. I knew that they said, white flag, you're up by two. I knew that there was no way he was going to gain two spots in the last lap, and he found a way. So and certainly, I had to just applaud the move. I mean, he did what he had to do. Um, forward thinking by him, for sure. And it just came at my expense. You know, it was a, obviously a novelty move that we'll never see again, but hey, it, it just was another part of the Denny Hamlin playoff story. It was crazy. It's, it's I mean, it's wild, like when you look at the, the data, like he, I mean, he legit like clicked a gear, went to fifth gear, you never run fifth gear in Martinsville, went to fifth and held it wide open <laughs> around the wall. Like that's, that's, that part's crazy and takes balls and, um, and imagination too, for sure. Uh, he took my top five away. Uh, <laughs> but it was, uh, he passed me off a of four and he was going, so much faster than I was. Like, and it was like crazy. And you know, it's something that like, I, I've i thought of doing it before, but I was like, yeah, I don't think I'd ever like be in the position to have to do something like that. And do I have the cojones to do it? And Russ did it. And I give him a lot of credit for doing it. And I'm glad they made a rule that where we can't do that anymore. <laughs> Cause I don't want to have to do that. <laughs> um, so, he definitely opened the can of worms with that move, but to me, it was one of the funniest, coolest things I've seen because it didn't affect me, right? Like, if it knocked me out of the championship four and that was the move that did it, I would be pretty angry about it. But for me, I mean, I lost one spot because of it, and it was amazing to actually see happen. There must have been 10 million people at that track because I swear I've had that many tell me that they were there that day. Um, it's so cool and it's honestly, yeah, seeing seeing the people from around the world and the racing community interact with it is awesome that some of just icons in this in the industry and in, in racing saw it and and actually said good things. You know, some people said bad, it's okay. But seeing the fan like the cell phone video from the grandstands from different angles and then hearing the crowd after. I can't hear that. The broadcast isn't picking all of that up. It was wild to hear, and you can hear people asking each other what happened. Some people say they saw it, some said, I, I missed it, what happened? My Uncle Richie had walked out of the room when we took the white flag because he thought we were done. And then he came running back in when his, my cousins went to screaming. Um, it's cool to hear those stories. That's incredible. <laughs> Thank you. You're amazing. You're amazing. Thank you. Hi, I'm Parker Kligerman. For more access like this from Pit Road, be sure to click and subscribe to the Motorsports and NBC YouTube channel.